Okay, so I've just got off the phone to Fabiola for the last time. Uh, I'm saying goodnight to her. I'm going to sleep now. So I've just fed her more lies. <laughs> Some good lies though, as you know. So uh, yeah, she was just saying, I hope to speak to you tomorrow. If not, no worries, I'll speak to you the next day. You know, so she's not got a clue, man. It's amazing, it's amazing. So I'm hoping I can sleep tonight because I feel like it's like Christmas Eve or something. Do you know what I mean? I feel like a little kid where I'm not going to sleep properly but um anyways i'm gonna do my best and then the next time you're gonna see me i'm gonna be walking towards gatwick like an excited little kid all right so see you in the morning folks peace good morning folks 7 30 a.m bright and breezy so we're just on the way to the airport now it's a 10 to 15 minute walk there from where i've just stayed last night um, beautiful little red sky coming up there uh, I just got some directions off the woman so I'm hoping I don't get lost so I'm walking to the south terminal here I'm leaving from the north north terminal there's a north and south in Gatwick um, but there's a little shuttle that takes you from one to the other and they run every few minutes so I've just got to get to the shuttle station in the south terminal and head to the north, if that makes sense. So this is quite exciting folks. This is the first time I've used this in over a year. So happy days. There we go folks, there's the hard bit done. And now the easy bit, it's just waiting around for the plane. There we go folks, next stop, Cancun, Mexico. Mexico folks, welcome to Mexico. So this is how Mexico do airport bars. We're still in the airport. I'm just waiting for the bus. I've got 10 minutes or so until I get the bus down to Playa del Carmen. So I just thought I'd get myself my first Dos Equis, my favorite beer here in uh, Mexico. So salud. We've got an hour's drive down to Playa del Carmen now. Just got a 10 minute wait. So, um, just thought I'd quench my thirst while we're here, eh? Here we have the Adio buses, these are very popular in uh, Mexico. I think this is the one we're getting on here. So next stop, Playa del Carmen. So here we are folks, Playa del Carmen. We've arrived, it took a little while to get here, the traffic was quite bad. So now we're just waiting for Ferran, Fabiola's friend. He said he'll come and pick us up and take you to Fabiola's place. So, it's raining, it's pissing down, it's nice and warm, nice temperature, a little bit of a breeze, so absolutely perfect. Okay folks, so this is it, this is it. We are here, she has no idea that I am here. So I'm going to knock on the door and I'm just going to film her. Sorpresa! Oh, no. <laughs> Hola, Bobby Bach! Oh my god! Bobby, <laughs> what are we doing on your call? This is where I've been. Oh, Bobby! <laughs> I reduced it to tears, folks. She's crying. <laughs> 
Elvis. Ah, oh, wasn't that sweet? Well, I'm just glad I pulled it off and I was able to keep my mouth shut for that long. And surprise her, it was ace. It was, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, man. She was pretty surprised, it must be said. But anyways, I'm back in the UK now, as you can tell. Different attire, <laughs> different scenery. I'm currently in quarantine here. Um, I'm very fortunate to have some very kind friends who have loaned me their converted uh, stables for the duration of my quarantine. And they also have a huge garden, which I'll show you now, uh, the views that I have a look overlooking the ocean here in Wales. And they've got this huge orchard as well, with all of these fruit trees and um, there's a beehive down there, which is currently out of use, obviously. But um, yeah, I love to come down in this little orchard at this time of night. You hear all the little birds singing because the sun's just going down now, you know. So I feel very fortunate that I have this to use when I come back. Uh, to quarantine when I come back from Mexico, you know. But we had a beautiful three weeks, really nice. We just relaxed a lot. Um, I put the camera down quite a lot because I didn't want to do too much filming, so to speak. We just wanted to spend some quality time together, you know. But we did film a few little bits and bobs. Uh, we had a really nice salsa class actually with one of Fabiola's friends, Roy. Um, he gave us a, a lovely little salsa class with one of um, Fabiola's friends, uh, Graciela. She loaned us her huge house to uh, to do the, the lessoning. That was really cool. Um, what else did we do? We went to Cozumel. Cozumel is uh, an island which is just off the Playa del Carmen there, which uh, was really, really nice as well. I, I really liked the remoteness of the, the far side of the island there. It was just like a big, long road that followed the coastline, you know, and there was all of these little beach bars and little restaurants and things like that. So really really cool really i'd recommend if you're in playa del carmen to go over there we spent a couple of days there and while i was there i traipsed the streets for some cool graffiti as well while we were waiting for the boat to come back uh, to the mainland i thought let's go and find some graffiti because there was loads that i was noticing you know so uh what else did we do yeah we walked the dog a lot fabiola's got a dog elvis so we went down to the beach quite a lot with him swimming in the ocean with him and we found out that he really likes going into the sea, you know? So we had some good fun down there. Um, what a cracking dog, absolutely loved him. Had so much fun with him. And going to the plaza, um, Fabiola takes him to the square in Playa del Carmen every kind of evening and morning. So a lot of time spent with the dog, uh, <laughs> very energetic. So he needed a lot, of, a lot of walking and stuff like that, which is great. I love it, you know? And um, yeah, man, so it was all good. But the next vlog, and my favourite place that we did go to, and my favourite thing that we did, was go to a small place called El Cujo, which is about two hours um, north of Playa del Carmen. A really cool little, untouched almost, uh, seaside town, village almost. Uh, absolutely stunning, really, really nice. And that's gonna be the next vlog. I did document that because I thought it was definitely a word. Uh, filming that and, and making a vlog of it, you know, because it's pretty different, very Mexican, it's very like an authentic little place that hasn't been touched yet, but apparently there's going to be a lot of mo people moving in to that area uh, in the next few years, you know? so I would highly suggest if you're going to go to Mexico at some point and you want to see El Cujo as it, as it is now, definitely, definitely head there. But that'll be the next vlog, I think it's going to be a two-parter because uh, I can't condense it <laughs> down into one. So um, yeah, look out for the next vlogs, which will be coming from El Cujo, Mexico. Okay, folks, you take care and have fun.